All right, how are you guys? It's uh, Michael here. And today I'd like to bring you a review video on Finnor's Bait Teaser 60 spinning reel, the BT60. Now, the BT60 is Finnor's offering on a bait runner style fishing reel designed for the salt water. It comes with four plus one stainless steel shielded ball bearings, a gear ratio of 4.9 to one, that is 34 inches of line retrieval per turn. Max drag at 26 pounds, that's carbon fiber drag, which Finnor calls their mega drag stack. It weighs at 20 ounces, 566 grams. It's got a graphite body and rotor with an aluminum side plate cover just to help um, protect your gears as well and keep them in a bit more of an alignment. And with this particular reel, you can pick one up for just under a hundred Australian dollars, super inexpensive and really good for running live bait or strip bait. Now, why these reels were designed and developed in the first place is there's actually a lot of fish out there that get easily spooked when they sense any form of line tension. So when you're fishing, um, some fish, when they pick up the bait, if they sense line tension, what they'll do is they'll spook themselves and then they'll spit the hook or spit the bait and then they'll just keep moving on. Um, this reel has been designed specifically for those types of fish and uh, really, really good when you're running live bait or strip bait. Um, so how it works, pretty simple. You've got two different drag systems, one at the top here, which you can adjust. And then of course you've got your rear drag system, which is like your free spool setting. Just simply open up the lever. Now you can adjust that of course, but just by spinning this little dial at the bottom. So fine tune adjustment at the bottom there. And the idea is that uh, you thread on your bait onto your hook. You go ahead and make sure you set your drag up. So about a third of your braking strength on your main line. So in this case I'm running 30 pound braid. Um, so for me, you'd set it up to about say 10 pounds of drag. Might be less, you don't need 10 pounds. So you set that up first. Yep. And then from there, it's just a simple matter of threading on the bait onto the hook, opening up your bail arm, casting, closing your bail arm, and then engaging the rear drag system or your free swivel. And then the fish can then see the bait, go ahead and pick up the bait and run with it. And then when you're ready to fight them, you can either flick up the rear lever or you just simply crank the handle and then you're engaged in your fighting drag. So I've personally used this reel for about a year now and I can attest to the durability and strength. I've personally caught a lot of fish over a metre in size utilising this reel. The drag is silky smooth, I've never had to service it. All I've had to do is give it a bit of a rinse with fresh water after each saltwater fishing session and it has uh, been as reliable now as it has from the beginning out of the box. So I highly rate this reel, you can pick one up for just under 100 Australian dollars. I'll go ahead and put some links for you in the description if you're interested in picking one of these up yourself and learning more about it. Uh, go ahead and check out the description section uh, for more details there. But what I might do now is share with you um, just some footage on what the reel looks like in real world use. There hasn't been too many review videos posted on this particular reel. I personally love it, so I wanted to share that with you and you'll get an idea of how to utilize it in the real world. Just a short clip on the beginning section of a fight. And um, in that particular video, I was lucky enough to catch a 120 centimeter thread fin salmon or king thread fin salmon. Um, in Brizzy, we just simply call them threadies. Um, it was caught on a live bait there, utilizing the BT60 of course. Um, the fight was nice and easy. The drag is uh, super reliable, dependable. And uh, yeah, if you've ever used one of these reels before, or you know of other bait runner style reels that you like to use, whether that's uh, Penn Spin Fisher SSVI, or Shimano's bait runner style reels, or Daiwa's bait runner style reels I've released recently, 
Um, yeah, feel free to let me know what you thought of this unit if you've ever used one before or what your favorite Fate Runner style reel is. All right, so there you have it, guys. I do hope that uh, you got a lot out of this video. I'll go ahead and share a little bit of footage with you now and uh, catch you soon. Uh, but, oh, yep. Yep. Oh, we're on, bro. We are on, bro. Let's go. So there you have it guys, in that particular demonstration video I managed to catch a 120 centimeter king thread fin salmon or as us brizzy fellas like to call it, threadies. Um, really great fun fighting fish, uh, one of Brisbane's best sports fish you can catch and that was caught on live bait using the BT60 by Finnor. Um, Fairly inexpensive reel, you can pick it up at an entry level price point. Um, I personally paid less than 100 Australian dollars for this reel, which I find to be exceptional value. And um, I've used it for about a year now, so I can say that it has been battle tested, caught many fish over a meter in size with this reel. Um, it is silky smooth on its drag, really, really strong, sturdy, dependable. And for the price, I was actually really surprised. I didn't think I'd find something like this for the amount of money that I paid. Um, of course, there are other offerings like, um, for instance, Penn's Spinfisher SSVI Liveliner, which I personally have had in the past before. Um, what sets this apart from the SSVI is that you've got the fine tune adjustment on the bottom, whereas Penn's um, Liveliner you have to pull the cap off, use a little key to fine tune the adjustment, and then it's got four different um, lever settings at the back which you can then uh, adjust to, which I find to be a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. With this one, you just simply dial it at the bottom and you're fine tuning on the fly, right? Less mucking around, straight into business. Once it's set up, you're good to go. So if you wanna pick one of these up for yourself, I'll go ahead and leave um, some details in the description where you can find one of these pen, uh, sorry, these um, Finnor Bait Teaser 60 reels. Um, you can pick one up yourself or find some more details out about it. And if you have used one of these before, I really would love to hear your feedback. There hasn't been a lot of videos posted on reviews on this unit, um, and I'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought about the BT60 or the Bait Teaser 60. So go ahead and leave some comments below if you've used this reel before or if you've used other bait runners before and what your experience has been. I'd love to hear it. If you are fishing nearshore or offshore and you wanted a little bit more line capacity, uh, Finnor Fin does have a slightly bigger version in terms of line capacity for these reels, uh, the BT80. There's not too much of a weight difference between the two units, okay? So if you are fishing maybe offshore and you needed a little bit more line capacity um, or you just wanted a bigger reel in general, um, you can upgrade to the BT80. For me, I do a lot of land-based fishing, um, so the BT60 was absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, that's it for the review, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit the, the like button and, and subscribe if you wanted some more uh, videos and hit the notification button and I shall catch you on the next one. Cheers guys